Hello guys. In this series of uh, lambda functions, I will show you how to attach an IAM role to a lambda function. So let's get started. I am in my AWS console. So let us create a new lambda function. So uh, for now I will uh, choose uh, this option create new role with basic lambda permissions. Our function is created. Let us test this function. So the function is executed with this default uh, response. Suppose, uh, suppose through this function we want to access an S3 bucket and want to list the contents of this S3 bucket. So now we will go to our S3. We have this bucket here in S3. So let us uh, upload some test file in this S3 bucket. Now we have uploaded this file to this S3 bucket. Let us uh, update our code to read the contents of that S3 bucket. As this is a Python function, so we would be using Boto3 library. I have a sample code to list S3 bucket. So here, I will read my S3 bucket and uh, list all the contents of the bucket. Deploy this function and test. So we got an error that uh, access is denied when calling list object operation. So what does it mean is this lambda function do not have permission to list objects from the S3 bucket. So if we see the configuration, the execution role that is attached to this lambda function is this. This is the role that is created uh, by the lambda function when we created the function. So get us, let us see this uh, role, what permissions this role has. So we can see that this permit uh, this uh, role has permissions to execute the lambda function and uh, to put the logs of this lambda function in a log group cloudwatch log group now we want uh, want to uh, access this x3 bucket through the lambda function so in this role we want the permission to access this S3 bucket. So what we can do is we can uh, modify this role to add the permission to access S3 bucket. So we can attach uh, policies. So these are uh, the policies, AWS Manage policies. We can search for S3. And for now we can say S3 full access and we can attach these policies to this role. So now if if uh, we see our uh, this lambda function and in the configurations now we can see that uh, this uh, 
role execution role has access to amazon s3 so if we run this function again now we are able to access the s3 bucket and it shows uh, the contents of this s3 bucket so this is a one way in which we can uh, we can provide execution role we can update our execution role to give per permissions to various aws resources there can be one more way to achieve this we can create our new role which will be a lambda role and here we can provide various permissions like we want access to s3 so we can provide the permission amazon s3 full access to this role let us name this lambda role so it says uh, it allows lambda functions to call aws services on your behalf now we have created this new role lambda role so let us create uh, the new function again this time uh, in the default execution role we will select our existing role that we just created select lambda role create the function now let us again import proto3 library and call the same function paste the same code to read the s3 bucket contents So we can see our uh, lambda function is able to access the S3 bucket and display the contents. So these were the two ways in which uh, we can update or create a lambda role for our uh, lambda uh, IAM role for our lambda function. So this is it uh, in this uh, demo. Please provide your valuable comments uh, for any suggestions for future videos and if you like the video please subscribe to my channel thank you